Hello folks and welcome back to Indiana Jones and the Fate of Atlantis. All we have to do now is find Plato's Lost Dialogue. We're going to go upstairs now. I believe it's part of the old Pierce collection. That's the Pierce collection. We we'll use the rope. I think I've read them all. The label says unidentified potsherds. And that's what pick up the arrowhead. Marcus thought potlatch Indians carved this. Looks like a movie prop to me. Bush. I believe it's part of the old Dunlop collection. Dunlop collection. Nope, it's not what we're hunting for. You can do all of them if you want. Do all the collections. It's locked. It's locked. I gotta find a key. It's an old lecture hall desk, complete with a wad of gum, I'll bet. The cup. It no. sure is gooey. No, we'll combine the, the arrowhead. It's from the Shamit collection. Very sharp. Use arrowhead with a rag. Now we got a screwdriver. If you hit I, you'll get indie points or indie IQ points. Right here, we have 64 of them right now. You can uh, collect all the points by using different controls like the, the mouse and the joystick. But I'm not gonna go through the game using a joystick. You're gonna use the mouse. I will use. Double. That didn't do anything. I'm gonna use it on the screws. It's unscrewed. Views. Oh, come on. It's unscrewed. It's unscrewed. It's unscrewed. It's unscrewed. Open. Bookcase. Now let's see if we got a screw. There's nothing of importance here. Nope. Okay, so the book's not there. Oh, what about the furnace? It's hot. And uh use gum with coal shoot. I think I'll stick this on my shoes for traction. Yep. Now we go up here. Oh. What do you know? The gum works. We got a book. It's a book ready to fall. We can do this. Use with book oops a lump of coal broke into a billion useless pieces that's not the one we wanted then pick up cat figurine it's much too heavy to carry uh pick up cat figurine it's much too heavy to carry pick up 
It's made out of wax. Okay. Made out of wax. Uh, open. Furnace. Use wax and furnace. The wax is melting. There's a manuscript inside. The Lost Dialogue of Plato. That's Plato's Lost Dialogue. A blast a furnace. A blast heating furnace. So what do we have to do next? Uh, we gotta... Well, I don't know you find a key to open that door. I uh, yeah, I know how you find it. I just remembered. We'll climb the rope. I'm gonna put the hatch. I'm up the rope and go to the hatch. Okay, where's that? Someone's ashes in here. Pick up. Feels like there's something loose in here. A key? On oh, a trap door again. Chest is empty. Okay, I got eighty four now. Eighty four in the Q points, I guess. Now I'll go talk to Sophia. Got it. I found Plato's lost dialogue. Really? Our jungle friend Sternhardt is quite the scholar. Let me see. Right there is Plato's lost dialogue. The Hermocrates. Now at last I have Plato's lost dialogue translated entirely. 
the Greek original is lost, so I've used the Arabic text I found in an Italian monastery years ago and always thought was a hoax. Now I wonder, could this remarkable book hold the secrets to long lost Atlantis? Probably not. No one would publish it, that's certain. The fear of ridicule is too great to be safe. I've sent a copy to Ashkenazi, Charles Sternhart, London, 1922. In shame, I hereby do resent the time and place whereof Crucius spoke. In rendering Egyptian into Greek, he made a tenfold error. Instead of lying 3,000 miles hence, Atlantis may well have been 30,000 miles away or Perhaps it was less than 300 miles from our own shores. Likewise, it may be that the Lost Kingdom held sway as many as 100,000 years ago or as few as 1,000 Socrates. If a kingdom arose on earth beyond anywhere men might travel, then we would never hear of it. We ought to accept the lesser figure. So glorious Atlantis found two colonies, the lesser 270 miles north of the city and the greater 460 miles to the south. Gates of the kingdom open only with the aid of special stones. At many outposts a sunstone sufficed. If morning light warmed the tall horns, at the greater colony a moonstone was also needed with the noon sun riding above the full moon. To approach Atlantis itself, a world stone was required as well, with the dying orbs plummeting into the eastern sea. I uh, guess that's the three elements that we need to align with the three stone discs. Final entrance yielded only to contrary minds. And it is said that dwellers in Atlantis had no horses nor any need of them. Oricalcum, the metal that glittered like fire, this they had instead. They cast it into shiny beads and used them as we do minted coins, paying statues to do their work as if by magic. When their colonies were failing, wise men carved strange devices out of amber to search for the metal, but only proud Atlantis ever yielded a supply. Uh, hint later on in the game and how to look for Oricalcum. You have called the kingdom wealthy, but surely this is absurd. As the waters rose around their city, the kings of Atlantis, one after another, sought to hold off fate. Knowing mortal men would never rule the sea, they planned a huge colossus which by use of oricalcum ten beads at a time would make them like the gods themselves. Norab Sal, that's the god of deceit, was one such king. He it was, say, the wise men of Egypt who first put men in the colossus making many freaks of nature at times when the celestial spheres 
were well aligned Socrates last time. This I doubt we are hearing a child's tale so I guess Socrates didn't believe it. So that's Plato's Lost Dialogue. I think I got everything. I don't see how this will help us find Atlantis. Why is it obvious? It doesn't matter what you say here. At least the same thing. Isn't it obvious? No, it's much too vague. Our only hope is supernatural inspiration. You mean your old pal, Nurab Sal? If I can make contact, yes. Where's my spirit guide when I need him? Come on, Sophia. The answer's in the book, not outer space. So he got his dates mixed up. Why is that so important? According to the book, Plato's error means distance could be also be wrong. Plato's error means distances could also be wrong. So what if they are? If Plato is right, Atlantis is in the Mediterranean. You mean 300 miles from Greece instead of 3,000? Of course, the lost dialogue could still be a fake. No, it sounds real. He once told me he came from the middle of the world. That's what Mediterranean means. Enough with your fantasies. I'm talking facts. Wait, quiet. I think I'm getting something. So, Mr. Sal, what's the secret? Be patient. He's lost but I think I know how to guide him home. Among the artifacts that Kerner stole was a small stone disc with a hole in it. I'm sure it was one of the three stones mentioned in Plato's book. And I didn't find it. I bought it from Omar al-Jabbar in Algiers. Haven't we talked to enough of these nutcases? Or was it Alain Cartier in Monte Carlo? Either way, Algiers or Monte Carlo. This much I do know. You'll need all three stones, if you want to find Atlantis. Alright, all right, I'm ready to go. Not so fast. First, I'm going to tell your fortune. Look into my eyes. Deep into my eyes. For Pete's sake, I'm not going to hurt you. Now hold still. You are a remarkable man, Dr. Jones. You possess great strength of character. You are resourceful always eager to solve life's deepest puzzles. I could never follow the thoughts of your maze-like mind, so I can't follow you along the twisting path that leads to Atlantis. This is the start of the wit path. Of course, you don't have to take Sophia's advice and you go down the wit path. Took the wit path when we first started the game and went through the, oh, all those crates and up the fire escape. That's how we got to the wit path. But if you actually wanted to, you can just take whatever path that you want. You don't really have to listen to Sophia. But I'm going to listen to Sophia. I'm taking the thinking path. You're right. I better think this through alone. I understand. Stay in touch. I'll send you a postcard. So long, Indy. Now we can either go to two places, Monte Carlo or Algiers. Well, folks, this is where I'm going to end the video. Until next time, this is Gamer Lawn signing out, saying thanks for watching, and I will talk to you later. Take care, folks. Bye.